I was involved with the very beginning of Women's Advocates, which turned out to be the first or one of the first shelters for battered women in the country. And um, one of the earmarks of, of that adventure was how little we knew about what we were really doing and had no idea um, in the beginning, especially of, of the problem of battering. It was not about that. And I think that it's an interesting social change movement because it didn't really come out of a political or, or feminist analysis. It really came out of um, a grassroots group who uh, <clears throat> who just um, who who s who created a, f a telephone service for women uh, for, le for legal information in the legal aid office and ended up with all kinds of women calling and wanting a place to stay, and then because of a um, because of a a sort of a challenge within our group around how we were going to proceed, we 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 had a weekend long discussion, and I feel that the the result of that was a decision to listen to a woman rather than um, be the people on our end of the phone who were not in crisis. Women know what they want; they just can't get the resources, and so we didn't have to tell her what she needed or wanted. But we had to help her define it and then help her find them, those resources. And that opened the door, in a sense, for women to just begin to tell their stories. And uh, we were uh, amazed. That word, I love that word, God smacked. We were gobsmacked. We, we, didn't, we had no idea of the, um, of the sort of the, the terrible secrets that um, or amongst all of us of of women's violence in their in their relationships, and that's how the shelter began. I don't think any of us defined ourselves as feminists. I thought that that um, feminists were women who could spend all this time talking with each other and, and hire women to clean their houses that they paid no wages to or you know I mean I, didn't, I was struggling I was pretty um, skeptical about the women's movement it didn't come out of the women's movement it really didn't it didn't come out of and there were you could say women's movements because there were the the kind of the now movement which was around equalizing pay for women more um, and then there were the radical lesbian feminists I mean I was fascinated by them I I couldn't believe the whole argument that they had about claiming reproductive power by never having, um, by c not conceiving children or something like that. It was like, wow. And I didn't agree with it, but it was just, it was that time of, of, of bursting forward, uh, forth, and, and how important consciousness raising groups were. And in my own research, because um, I actually wrote a dissertation on it, trying to figure out how does the grassroots movement really start? Why, how did women with all these stories, how did the, um, this kind of the testimony of this terrible secret um, come out and not be individual women who were in bad marriages or individual women who had psychological problems or individual men who, you know, had pathological tendencies. I mean, th those were the kind of traditional explanations when battering would kind of arise and break through the surface of, of a scandalous, uh, a murder or a case where the injuries were so bad they'd be reported in the newspaper. But women were really trying to, we found, get help, desperately trying. And there were people within the traditional services who really wanted to help them. That, that's what I needed to learn. You know, it wasn't like we were good and they were bad. The institutions were really quite bad in the sense of being based on continuing their existence uh, by not consciously but unconsciously always silencing women. This is a very wonderful community here, and it's really how we keep um, how we keep responding to the evolving. Um, needs of women at, as you're looking at the laws and the and the institutions, and, but also how we keep from the increasing attempts by sort of the power structure to undo what we've done. I mean, it'll, it's a never-ending struggle. We have to expect that there will always be a backlash, and it's very creative. It's like it's like it's malleable. It it finds all these different ways to get at the women's movement. It, it's not. It's not, it's not predictable. It's, it's, like, it's like this contest. We are always in a contest 
um, to keep what, what we've achieved alive and, um, and, and, and true to its source and intention and also to learn, you know, to learn what works and what doesn't work. I think the fact that, that there are places for women to go um, who need it, who are in danger, is really important no matter how much we might disagree with how they're run or what their philosophy is. Um, and I think we have to think about the women that need the services in terms of judging where we are now.